today, you are remembered with honor and gratefulness. We salute you. We thank you. I'd like to, at this time, introduce uh, Kathleen Corey Rami. She is from the Mugluan Village and a longtime activist on behalf of Veterans of America. Thank, thank you all so much. I want to thank the Methuen Senior Center for always be, being the ones that recognize this very important holiday. You see, I have a huge problem. Some people like Christmas and some people like Easter. I have a problem because I can't decide if I like Veterans Day or Memorial Day. And when I get to the holiday, I say, this is my favorite. And then I get to Memorial Day and I say, no, this is my favorite. That being said, I, I want to thank every single veteran here. You know who you are, you know what you did. I don't care if you were the barber or the cook, I don't care if you were on the front line. Everyone had a part, and every part should be recognized because it's a complete story. So happy Veterans Day to all of you. Just want to say one thing. Uh, oftentimes the families are forgotten. They wear the invisible uniform. You gave your sacrifice to your country, and your family supported you while you did it. So to the wives, the sisters, the widows, the grandmothers, the gold mother, star mothers, to the families. It was a community effort. And uh, I want to thank you personally for being, being a veteran and serving our country and helping the younger people recognize what it is to be free and what it is to sacrifice for this great country. And I want to thank Bethune Village for coming out in the snow today. Our residents didn't want to miss this coffee. And I want to thank the people that are continuing to serve. Our first responders, these men in blue, our chief, they, they are often forgotten. And our firemen, we just want firefighters. I forgot to say fighters. <laughs> I just want to thank all the people that step up. It's not easy. So thank you and have a wonderful Veterans Day. city councils. They're the ones that actually make my job very, very easy. I've yet to go to these folks and say, we need something for the veterans and not have it happen. It's always, we'll find a way. And that's what we've been doing for the last five years. So with that, uh, I do have a couple of introductions I would like to make. Uh, first is uh, Dottie Avery. She works with me up in the uh, office. It's a pleasant voice, you usually count on the phone the first thing. So. Uh, the other is Steve Payne, commander of Arnold F. Greenwood Post 8349. And lastly, uh, Don Silver is over there someplace. He is the financial officer of Queen City Chapter Number 2, Disabled American Veterans. All of these organizations, the Legion, the DAV, the uh, VFW, and providing services. If we can't do it, uh, there's possibly a way they can do it. We are right now working on, with the DAV, a ramp for one of our city's veterans. It's a lot quicker for them to get the ramp than all the hoops I have to jump through to get this for them. So that's going to probably be happening for this gentleman within the next month or so. Uh, so but we'll be working with them on that. Again, I thank the city of Methuen for all that it does. Please remember our parade this coming Sunday. We'll be going by here just about 10:15, uh, 10:30. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 10:30ish after the ceremony up at the uh, cemetery. So uh, please participate in that. Uh, the VFW will also have a ceremony. They're going to be at the Elmwood uh, Veterans Lot, and uh, if you can get up to see them at noontime when everybody carpools up. And then we have the Boylan Flag Program. 
And for those of you who haven't been to City Hall or have been, there are 63 posters done by the children in the schools in the building. Uh, grades K through 4 and 5 through 8. Uh, we are going to be awarding some prizes, but they're up in the uh, foyer area down by the Wall of Honor. If you get a chance, please get up to see them. They'll be up for another week or two, uh, but please come up and take a look at them. These kids put a lot into this, and they've done a great job, and it's our way of working with the schools so that the kids don't forget what Veterans Day is really all about. Again, I thank the Senior Citizen Center uh, and uh, Bethune Village for putting this on. It's always great to have our veterans out. And one last thing, who are our veterans out there by a show of hands? Thank you all so much for your service. As has been said before, everybody had a part, everybody did it. And some, um, if you love the hands from Air Force Base, they have like a rock garden. And one thing they have on there is all gave some, some gave all. Thank you. And thank you again for coming today. Thank you, veterans. Thank you to the Wind Police um, Honor Guard. We appreciate you taking the time to come with us today, honoring us with your presence. And uh, we hope you will be able to stay for a little while to join us in the refreshments that the Wind Village has, has given to us. Thank you so much for the Wind Village. We have Kathleen Village. And, and Lauren Thank you. Lauren and Lori Ann, uh, where is Lori Ann? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you so very much. <coughs> that concludes our program.